Last year, I got Joshua Kimmich. This year, I'm going to get... Oh! Wow! Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michael, aka The Crusher, and today is episode number 80 of The Road to Ronaldinho. I'm going to go through some rivals rewards and a bit more about icon swaps. Let's get into it. So, obviously, the new promo is out later tonight. Uh, Winter Wildcard, I believe it's called. We've seen the uh, the sort of promo screen teasing the card. Looks like a very nice card design. Um, all looking forward to that tonight. Hopefully, that's going to be amazing. Um, I sold a lot of players. I sold them uh, Wednesday night um, for Icon Spots hype. Uh, I got to about 680, 690k. Um, and then earlier today, um, while I was driving back, uh, obviously the ice cards weren't appearing in packs, so I paid 25k for a pack, and guess what? I didn't get any of them, so wasted 25k. So, with rewards and stuff, this time next week we're going to have 800k. Not too bad indeed. So, uh, we're going to start by claiming Rivals Rewards. Uh, as always, go right down the middle, go for the untradeable uh, 35k and the 100k. Still recording. That's the main thing. Uh, so yeah, 35,000 uh, coins, a red team of the week per play pick, and 100k pack, which you are saving for team of the year. You'll also notice there that we've got the 84 plus player pick. I was going to save it because I've got my next gem pack to open, but I did it before by mistake. So the next gem pack will wait, and then I'm just going to hold the 84 player pick for the new promo because uh, hopefully we can get something good. But yeah, we've got the uh, red player pick now. Not expecting much, but we're going to get... Again, an 82, an 81, an 83. Average at best. Uh, we'll take Akin Fiev, 83 rated. So, I mean, yeah, it is what it is. I can probably do the uh, the upgrade pack. Let me check. Hopefully we can do it. Uh, upgrades. And I might be able to do it. Oh, I might be able to do it here. Uh, gold foot chance, low to high, bit of. I mean, that seems all right. Like eighty threes are what, like a couple of k. Eighty ones aren't the greatest. I don't really need them for for icon swaps because people are doing gold and gold. Yeah, let's do it. Let's uh do a ch foot champions premium upgrade now. Um, yeah, not too bothered about that. We'll get rid of that. I'm getting an 86 plus red pick now. Obviously, I'm saving anything like 84 and above because they could be good for SBCs. But the first foot champions premium upgrade last year, I got Joshua Kimmich. This year, I'm going to get... Oh! Wow. I am sort of torn. In fact, I'm very, very torn. Harry Kane is great fodder, but Barella could be quite useful. I am very, very torn right now. In the, in the comments, let us know what you would do in this situation, because I am very, very torn. Obviously, Barella is going to be great, but I don't have many things, to, many players to link into. But it could be like a good impact sub. But Kane is good fodder, and ninety-one rated fodder is. 40, 50k, so save myself some coins there. Gintz is out of the equation, but Borella is obviously the team of the week this week. So with that in mind, because Borella is in this week's team of the week, and I could get him again in weekend league rewards, I'm going to go for Harry Kane. But, fair, that was a very good player uh, upgrade pick, because I've seen some real bad stinkers. So Harry Kane, 91 fodder, not too shabby indeed. Um, and yeah, we're, we're in a decent position. Obviously, we've still got the, 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 the what you call it, the... Um, the 84 plus play pick for the new promo. That being tomorrow's episode. Yeah, we're in a good pl uh, place right now. So let's take a look at icon swaps. Obviously, that came out on Wednesday, 6 p.m. Unfortunately, it matched the leaks, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but you have the usual friendly stuff in uh, Serie A, Liga, and Premier League. Serie A is through balls, and Premier League is finesse goals. All is um, 10 games flat, but with golden goal, we should smash with that in no time. For icon swaps in squad battles. It's a bit of a weird one. You can, however, do three at once. I'll show you why in a minute. So you need Silvers, Eredivisie, uh, Argentina, Brazilian, and first own players for your squad battles games. So you can do it in 30. 
or you can make, join them together. So, for example, you could do Silver Eredivisie, you could do Silver Argentina, you could do Silver and uh, Brazil, you can do uh, First Owned Brazil, First Owned Argentina, but you can do what I'm doing, which is First Owned Argentinian Silver. So, you do three tokens in one, which saves yourself 12 games, which is a hell of a lot of time. Unfortunately, you can't do... Um, Brazil and Eredivisie together, or uh, Argentina and Eredivisie together, because there's not enough players in those leagues. So it's going to take at least um, 18 squad uh, battles games. At this point, you might be able to do a silver first owned. If not, you'll be doing 24. Could you do silver? No, you wouldn't. Ignore me. If you can treble up with silver first owned and Brazil or Argentina... That's six games, and then you'd need another six games for Edivisa and six games for Nations. So that's 18 games. Um, if you need to do double up at a time, so you could do Silver Eredivisa, then that's going to be six games. And then you could do Brazil or Argentina and First Owned, which is another six games. So either way, 18 games of squad battles, you're going to get uh, five tokens. And then the other one is Foot Champs, which is when 13 Foot Champs games. However, qualification counts towards this. So... It makes it a little bit easier because you can get up to nine wins in qualification, but most people go for five. But if you go for five wins, qualify, and then do eight wins on uh, for rank three in foot champs, you've got it there done. So at the moment, I'm going to do all nine. However, when we get the new ones, which is Jan 10th, I believe, I'm only going to do seven of those, and I'll explain why in a minute. So let's head over to uh, the swaps tab. So let's take a look through them. Well, they're unfavorable that for the moment, so I can show you in order. So I need to go back out and then come back in. Let me show you an order. It's seven minutes at the moment. Um, so swaps. Two tokens, eight to one times 25. Uh, three tokens, eight to two times 25. Five tokens, 83 times 25. Mid Ecosias for six. Uh, mid uh, Real Fernand for seven. Base on Mid Icon for eight. Prime Over Mars for nine. Mid Icon for ten. Uh, mid Desai for 11, Baby or Base Del Piero for 12, 8 to 9 plus Mid Icon for 13, Base on Mid Icon Player Pick for 14, uh, Zambrotta Prime for 14, uh, Mid or Prime Icon for 16, Base Mid or Prime Icon Player Pick for 17, and Mid Wayne Rooney for 17 as well. So there's 18 tokens altogether. Obviously, from January 10th, you'll be able to get the next bunch. So at the moment, the max you can get is that Prime Mark over Mars. So, this is what I'm going to do. At the first, I was going to do Rio, Casillas, and the 83. Because then that would be 11, add 7, 18. However, I compared mid-Rio Ferdinand stats to Gerard PK showdown. No upgrade SBC. And PK is better than him in four of the stats. And the same on, I think, pace and physical. Marquinhos is better on my red Marquinhos 88 version. It's better than Rio Fernand every stat. So I don't need Rio Fernand. So I'm going to take Ika Casillas for 6. The 83 times 25. The 82 times 25. And the 81 20 times 25. Which will equal 16 tokens. Which is why I'm only going to do 7 tokens in January. Because with those extra 2 tokens, I can't do anything with them. So I might as well save myself 6 or 12 squad battles games. And just get the Ika Casillas. The, the other option is doing the free fodder packs. And the base or mid icon pack. But my icon pack look is up and down. I've already got Ronaldinho. I've already got Vidic. So I'd rather take a mid icon Casillas knowing I can use him. He's going to improve my team and go from there. So I'm going to do the 16 tokens with the four packs that you can see on screen now. Let us know in the comments what you are doing though. Because I know everyone differs and I've seen people do the base on mid already. The reason I'm doing mid Casillas is because this is a team that I want for January 2022. Minus anything that is like going to be massively improve this team which could be any of the Winter Wild cards, any other promos, Team of the Year cards that we may or may not pull, SBC cards, anything can change. But this is what I'm aiming for at the moment. So get for that mid Casillas. We'll go for Road to Knockouts, Ren and Lodi, which is about 170k, I think, at the moment. So his price could go up and down depending on uh, when I want to buy him. But yeah, 165k there. Ren Mark Marquinhos there. Showdown Gerard PK there, which obviously is a much better defender than my um, Vidic, or stats wise anyway. Roberto is a placeholder. We're, we're going to get flashback Danny Alves, so that's where he's going to come into the equation. So get flashback Danny Alves there. Um, then these two will be playing as the cams. Or for K might be striker, Vinicius as a cam. 
going to have Kapue and Road to knock out Fred. And then Benzema up top with either one of Fakir and Vinicius. So I think that is pretty solid. Obviously that can change. We might get a future stars Nuno Mendes. He can go in there. We may get something completely different up here. We may get something different up here. But like for here, for example, we can play any Brazilian striker or midfielder. As long as they fit into the sort of 4 triple 2 system. Any Brazilian left back that comes through. Or that Nuno Mendes that I mentioned. Or a... Uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of opportunities to change it, but I think that is pretty solid, especially with a flashback Danny Alves there. So that's why I want Casillas in, because he's got good stats. As a base, he's going to have like, what, nearly 90 plus and everything apart from kicking and speed. Not too bad. Um, and obviously, the goalkeepers are hit and miss anyway this year. So that's what the plan is for icon swaps. That's what the plan for the team is. So yeah, not too bad indeed. Obviously, I was going to do Roberto Carlos, which would have been instead of Lodi. However, I think there's what, like two or three days left on me out and he finishes at Sunday at 6pm. How long am I recording for? 12 minutes. So mm, we'll probably keep it without any gameplay in this episode. So apologies for that. Uh, I was going to do a rivals game at the end. But I can do like the sort of 83 to 85 squads. Um, I've been working those out. Like, I could do them with ease. It's when we get to here, like the 86s, the 87, the 88, which is where it's going to cause a problem. Because I just don't have enough high-rated fodder. Like, yes, that Harry Kane can help. But, like, I've got Kane. I'd say probably Donnarumma's fodder now. Haaland, Chesney, Chong. Them 88s. So, again, I don't know. I really, really don't know. It's going to be tough. And if I miss out on him, I'll probably be a bit annoyed at it. But for 165k, I can get loaded. Who's very, very similar in terms of stats. But yeah, that is um, what the plans are for the road to Ronaldinho. Obviously, try and get the um, the tradable, uh, the 91 version when he comes out. So we take that off. Oh, not when he comes out, when I can afford him, which is about another million uh, liquid coins because his price has dropped to like 911 now. So he's probably going to about, what, 900 soon. So I'll get like 850 after tax, which would make, what, 1.5. So maybe like another 500, 600 off the back of that. And then we'll be able to get the 91, then we move towards the prime, and then the moments, um, sort of like April, March, April, May, whenever they're going to be coming out. But yeah, so that is the plan for 2022 for the team. Hopefully we can achieve it. It should be achievable. It's literally getting a um, flashback Danny Alves and a left back. But yeah, let us know in the comments what you think of my plans for icon swaps, for the team, what you're doing for icon swaps, what you're planning with your team. Uh, and yeah, that is it for today's episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button. Comment below, as I said, about icon swaps, what you think of the team. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.